Welcome to CQG's Q Trader. I'm going to show you a few of the basics of the DOM Trader in the Q Trader. The DOM Trader is comprised of a depth of market ladder that displays a range of bid and offer prices, the best bid and offer with size and trading tools. Here you can see the buy column displayed in blue and the sell column displayed in red with the prices in the middle. We can scroll up and down the ladder by using the scroll on the mouse or we can click a certain price and that price will be centered on the ladder. Notice whether I move up or down, the market stays in view. The gray box and arrow here is the last trade indicator. This shows where the last trade was and the volume of the last trade. This volume is then added to the accumulated volume here to the left, which is displayed numerically and as a histogram. At the top of the DOM trade are different tabs that allow you to switch between different symbols. We can add a new tab by clicking on the plus sign here. We can change this tab by clicking on it and simply typing a new symbol and hitting enter. Each DOM trader can hold a total of four tabs. We can go over here to the other DOM trader and add more tabs like so. If you want to remove a tab, we can right click and hit close tab. If you run out of room for tabs, you can always add more DOM traders by clicking on the DOM trader button here on the toolbar. Or you can also click on the CQG icon here at the top left of the DOM trader and hit replicate, which then copies the DOM trader. Just as everything else in the Q trader, the DOM trader is completely customizable. We can change the trading preferences by going to Setup, Trading Preferences. In Display, you can choose between different themes for the DOM trader. Notice light themes and dark themes. We can also move around the columns. There's many other formatting and functionality options you can play with here. In Notifications, we have different confirmation windows, pop-ups to alert certain events such as orders filled or when orders are not filled and sounds to alert other trading activities such as when an order is filled. We can click on when an order is filled and we can test the sound. One important notification to point out is the prompt for cancel on log off down here. When this option is checked, the queue trader will ask if you want to cancel your positions upon a log off. This helps you not leave on any unwanted positions. You can go to risk and adjust your max position and order size. However, these changes do not override your FCM. You can also customize the quantity buttons that appear at the bottom of the DOM trader right here by clicking in the box and typing. In Smart Orders, you can enable certain trading strategies by clicking on the trade strategy. All these different trading strategies appear under this tab where we currently have the day limit order. Once you have set your trading preferences to your specific taste, go ahead and click Apply and OK. Now we can have some fun and go ahead and trade. So we'll go to the top and click on the certain symbol we want. I'll stick with the S&P mini contracts. We can select the trade type by clicking on the tab that I previously mentioned. We'll go ahead and stick with day limit. We can place a limit order beneath the market by simply clicking in the buy column. We can increase the size of this click by clicking on our quantity buttons here below. Now when I click I'll put on 10 contracts. We can remove these limit orders by right clicking. To place a stop we can click on the price and drag to the sale side. And now we have stop in place. Once again just right click to remove. We can also buy and sell at the market if we click on the buy 10 at the market or sell 10 at the market buttons here at the top of the DOM trader. You can select different stops here on the stop tab. Here you can go to DOM triggered stop. Now when you place a stop, you'll be prompted to specify a value. If we type in 500, this means the stop will not get triggered until volume reaches below 500 on that specific price. Go ahead and place the order. Now you can see you have your DOM triggered stop right here. The DOM triggered stop provides protection by making it less likely for your stop to be triggered. You can also make your stops and limits trailing if we go here to the trailing tab. Every stop that I mentioned previously in this tab can become a trailing stop. You can go ahead and click on DOM triggered trailing stop and then click on the price and drag it over the sales side. And go ahead and place order and now we have a DOM triggered trailing stop. Once again you can right click these stops to remove. In the DOM trader we also have OCO mode and bracket mode which you can change here. OCO, or Order Cancels Order, is a multi-part order. If one part of the order is executed, then all other parts are cancelled. You can create two linked orders by clicking on the link button here, and then placing your orders. Once you're done placing your orders, go ahead and click the link button again. Now we have two connected limited orders. If I drag one to the market, the other order is cancelled. Let's say you already have two orders on and you want to link them. We can do this in the Orders and Positions window. All you have to do is click on the Link button, click on the order you wish to link, and go ahead and unclick the Link button again. Now your two orders are OCO orders. If I once again drag it to the market, both orders are cancelled. If you click on Bracket Mode, you can now place bracket orders. Notice how the buttons are now in brackets. Even the Buy and Sell columns now show brackets. 
If you place a limit order in bracket mode, you now have a profit target as a limit order and a stop loss, both five ticks away. Go ahead and click place bracket order. Now notice in parked orders we have the limit order and the stop loss waiting to enter the market upon the fill of our limit order. If we drag a limit order to the market, we now have a stop loss five ticks away as well as a profit target five ticks away. If you go to the working tab, you can see the two orders are OCO orders. If I drag the limit to the market, the stop loss is now canceled. Another cool feature of the DOM trader is showing studies on the trading interface. We can do this by going to the chart and clicking on the Bollinger Bands here to the right. Right click and then click Show Bollinger Bands on Trading Interface. The top and lower Bollinger Bands are now shown on the DOM trader as maroon squares. We can now place orders that will vary as the studies vary. To do this, go ahead and right click on the square. As you can see, we can place many different orders that will follow this study. I'll go ahead and place a sell limit order at the top Bollinger Band. Since we're still in bracket mode, this will be a bracket order. Now this order will follow the top Bollinger Band. Now another way of canceling this order other than right clicking would be to press this button here that cancels all sales, just as we can cancel all buys with this button. We can cancel all orders in this market by hitting the cancel all button, or if we have orders in other markets, we can go ahead and hit the cancel global button, which cancels all our orders. And to remove the study from the DOM trader, just go ahead and right click and hit remove all. This was just a brief overview of the DOM trader, and thank you for choosing CQG.